Hello, Christian Hacking here in central London uh, at uh, the March for Life vigil, where we are drawing attention to um, the most devastating act of law the United Kingdom has ever known uh, that took place 52 years ago this day. And just over there in the House of Parliament, um, on the 27th of um, October 1967, uh, an act was passed introducing the intentional killing of unborn babies into the United Kingdom. It was said that it was going to be under compassionate grounds just for those extreme cases of incest, rape or severe fetal abnormality. But that act quickly snowballed into what we now have, which is a full-blown genocide. 214,000 unborn babies killed every year in the United Kingdom. And if you call up the abortion industry, they will quickly slot you um, under category uh, C of the Abortion Act, being that it is not in the benefit of your emotional health to keep your child. Um, and what do they do instead? Well, they'll send pills to your home so you can not only kill that child in uh, your home, but you can eject them down the toilet or put them into domestic waste. Since this was introduced in 2020, over 250,000 unborn babies have been intentionally killed and flushed away in homes. And that is why we are here today saying uh, that 10 million lives, that's the total number of babies that we've killed since 1967, is far too many. If it were just one life, that would be far too many. But 10 million uh, is just an astonishing figure. That is like the, the whole population of London uh, missing. And not only just them, but also the families of uh, those, the fathers, the mothers, the siblings of those children uh, destroyed in the womb. And, and whilst everything ticks on in London, half term ticks on, the buses and the taxis fill the roads, uh, this has not gone unnoticed in God's eyes, that we have desecrated our land with the blood of the innocent. Uh, and if we do not repent from that, then um, how can we expect uh, to to live like we are doing in affluence, prosperity and safety any longer.